Question number 34. If 12.5 grams of the original sample of cesium-137 remained after 90.69 years, what was the mass of the original sample? Since they mentioned cesium-137, we should check to see that it's in table N. There it is. And we look up its half-life and we see it's 30.23 years. Then they mention that 90.69 years went by. We call this little t or the total time elapsed. You can find this information on the back page of your reference table, table t. If we take big T, which is the half-life, 30.23 years, we could see on the reference table, table t, that the number of half-life periods is equal to little t divided by big T. So when we divide 90.69 by 30.23, we get three half-life periods. We can represent this by drawing three arrows, one, two, and three. Those represent the number of half-life periods. So if 12 and a half grams remains, that will be the last value that we end up with. So we would need to work it backwards to find the mass of the original sample, doubling each time until we get to that red box. So 12.5 doubled is 25 to 50, and we end up with our answer of 100 grams.